Hi, I'm West, and I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here for Game 116 of the regular season. Astros win 8-2 over the Los Angeles Angels. They take the series a minimum of by a game, on account that it's only three, and we've taken the first two. And the Astros, if I'm not mistaken, have won four or five in a row. It's been a nice little stretch right now for Houston. Uh, let me look right here. Okay, four in a row. I'll take that. No, sh no it's good. Uh, great game overall. The offense was pretty darn good. Jake Meyer specifically tonight was magnificent. Uh, so to get right into it, bottom of the first was dicey for Luis Garcia. Now, I sort of have a rule of thumb for when our pitching staff gives up runs. They better be either entertaining to the point where even though it's being scored against us, we can kind of laugh at it, uh, or to players that I like. Lead off home run to Shohei Otani, that's pretty excusable. I love Shohei Otani, and watching him hit a home run, even though it's against us, it, it, it softens the blow a little bit because it's Shohei Otani. I love the guy. He is having just a crazy good season. That's his 39th of the season. This is a pitcher who's going to hit 40 home runs easily. And realistically, it's not that insane to say he could potentially crack 50. If he has a nice little hot streak here or there, it's certainly in the realm of possibility. Uh, now, there would also be a Jared Walsh single in the bottom of the, or bottom of the first that would score the other run. And after that, all of that came with no outs. In three batters, it's 2 nothing, And you start to go, okay, so this is going to be a getaway game for the Astros. But after that, the pitching staff was lights out. It was magnificent from that point on. Uh, and then very soon after, the Astros offense would start kicking because they're alive and well. And tonight they got back Yuli. However, we did lose Kyle Tucker, which sucks. Uh, those are two players that both are great. So getting one back is great, but losing the other one kind of null and voids the other. Uh, it's great to see Yuli back in the lineup. But, man, oh, man, losing Kyle Tucker is just, especially after last night, it's just, it's a hard one to swallow. It, it sucks. So, third inning, the Astros get on the board with a Jake Myers opposite field home run. That's awesome. Great. You know, cut the lead in half. That's great on his part. Uh, in the same bottom half of the inning, or in the same top half, excuse me, Carlos Correa hits a sack fly. Ties it at two. All right, great. Then, Jordan Alvarez. Doubles. Makes it a 3-2 ball game. All right, great. We're moving on. Specifically, by the way, on the sack fly by Correa. Aggressive base running by Altuve. He gets up for it. It was just a pretty nice ending by Altuve. Getting, uh, being aggressive and have that, having that pay off. Fifth inning, Jordan Alvarez, another double. This one scores Brantley. Jordan Alvarez, great night tonight. And then the sixth inning. Yuli leads off with a walk. Cool. Jess McCormick walks. Cool. Kind of similar to what was happening last night. Then Castro walks. And this is really funny because last night, before the home run to uh, you know the outfield or the corner outfielder specifically, it was a walk, a walk, a single, and then a grand... Oh, hi, Jake Myers. First career grand slam. Second home run of the night. Second home run of his career. Jake Myers had a heck of a game tonight. 8 nothing Astro, or 8-2 Astros, 8 nothing. I'm, my brain is fried, it's freaking, it's almost 1 a.m., it's fine, it's fine, 8-2 to two. at that point, Jake Myers, two home runs in a single game is just magnificent, he had a great night tonight, five RBIs for Jake Myers, two home runs, just, oh, put a cherry on top of that performance, ah. Uh, and overall, the pitching was great. Uh, Luis Garcia struggled early on, but nothing too shabby. Pitching lines tonight. Luis Garcia, five innings of work, two uh, runs given up, three walks, five strikeouts. Not the best night by any means, but also not too shabby by any means either. Brooks Raley actually had a good inning of work. One inning pitched, no walks, no runs, no hits. You got a pair of strikeouts. All right, let's go there. Let's go, Brooks Raley. Good for you. Blake Taylor came in. He would give up a single or a, or a base hit. I don't... I believe it was a single. Uh, also would get a strikeout. No walks, no runs allowed. 
After that, uh, Phil Maton comes back and gets a bit of a rebound. Gets a little bit dicey, but doesn't give up any runs and picks up a strikeout in his inning of work. So that's great. Yimmy Garcia comes in, gives up a hit, but gets a strikeout to finish off the game. Which, a couple of trade line acquisitions there. Giving up a few base runners, but uh, no runs given up, which is great. Offensively tonight, Altuve had a single. He was one for four, but had a hit. I don't believe... Did Altuve have any hits last night? I can't... I can't think of that in my head. He also had a run scored. Brantley had a multi-hit night. Wow. Brantley had a multi-hit night. Surprised Pikachu face. It's just what we've come to expect at this point from him. Professional hitter. Jordan Alvarez had three hits tonight. A pair of RBIs. Three for five. Great evening from him. Uh, Yuli Gurriel was back. Did go over four, but he had a walk and a run scored, so not as bad as it could have been. Then Jake Myers really was the story for the evening. Two home runs, grand slam, five RBIs, just an outrageously good night for him. He's the player of the game, just fantastic. And with this game tonight, the Astros have gotten to 70 wins, which is great because we only got to 29 last year. Granted, it was a shortened season, but gosh, last year was just so weird. We've almost had... We're going on now twice as many games as we had last year. Which was just such a weird anomaly of a season. Uh, but a great evening overall for the Astros. They get a nice win. And now we can look tomorrow for the series sweep. And good news. Probably our best pitcher is going to be out on the mound for it. Tomorrow at 4.07 Eastern at 3.07 Central, the Astros are going to send out Lance McCullers Jr. to the mound against Reed Dentmeers. Dentmeers? Probably butchering that as I normally do. He rolls in with... Okay. Uh, how many innings has this gentleman pitched? Uh, it says 0-2 record with t a 10-6-1 ERA. I don't know how many innings he's pitched. He only has seven strikeouts. I'm assuming he's only pitched like two games at the most. That's, that's rough for him. McCullers rolls in with a 3.22 ERA. So that'll be pretty entertaining. Side note, uh, I wanted to mention this because I thought it was pretty just ridiculously neat. Uh, pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks today, Taylor Gilbert, threw a no-hitter in, I believe, his first Major League start, which is just pretty freaking cool to have that happen. Like, throwing a no-hitter is awesome potential you know, high point of your career. Doing it in your first major league start is just redonkulous. And that is completely a complete just side note, but I wanted to bring that up. Anyway, McCullers goes tomorrow. I'll be here after that game. <sighs> and I'm going to head to bed because I'm relatively tired. So, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, Ghost Rose.